Hello, I am Arnav, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Hyderabad. Today, I am going to show you how you can configure Amazon CloudFront to prevent CloudFront from caching certain files and serve dynamic content to leverage our highly resilient Amazon Backbone network. So let's get started. To prevent CloudFront from caching certain files, you can add cache control no store no cache private directive to the objects that you don't want CloudFront to cache. Or you can add expires directives to the objects that you don't want CloudFront to cache. For this demo, I am using Amazon Simple Storage Service as the origin and will be adding the cache control directive to my objects using the S3 object metadata. Navigate to the S3 console. Select the object that you want to apply cache control directives to. Under the object properties, edit the metadata for the object and set the desired cache control directive. When this is done, I'll navigate to my CloudFront console. There, I'll change my behavior configuration and set the object caching setting to use origin cache headers. This way, CloudFront will respect the cache control headers sent by my origin. Let's test this setup on terminal. As you can see, the curl request to our object always result in a miss from CloudFront. This confirms that CloudFront is now respecting the cache control no store no cache private header. If the objects don't return any cache control headers, then CloudFront will cache the object for a default period of one day. Another solution that doesn't require modifying of the origin settings is to disable the cache for a particular behavior. Open the CloudFront console. From your list of CloudFront distributions, choose the distribution that you want to modify. Choose the Behaviors tab. If you already have a cache behavior for the objects that you don't want to cache, then select the cache behavior and choose Edit. If not, to create a new cache behavior, choose Create Behavior. Under cache and origin request settings, select cache policy and origin request policy. This is a best practice. For cache policy, select manage caching disabled cache policy. Choose save changes to save the changes that you made. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.